Hi, keep friends. It's Elizabeth Salamander. I'm here at Coralina Cove in Montaña de Oro State Park on a nature walk with my family. And it just so happened that it is one of the lowest low tides that I've seen in a while. I wish you could be here exploring with me, but since you're at home, I thought that I would take a few close-ups of some of the awesome creatures that I find out here today. Keep watching. super low tide days it's really hard to pick your path because you don't want to step on any of the animals so you got to find the best parts of the rock where there aren't tons of living creatures. I'm gonna make my way over to this big tide pool over here and see what there might be inside. Let me get down low see if you guys can see in this tide pool. Wow! We have some really cool shells here. And I don't know if you can see, let me put my finger in. There's a fish moving around right down there. It's really camouflaged. It's called a tide pool sculpin. And in all of these little holes, there's purple sea urchins. I'm touching one right now, right there with my finger. The sea urchins are related to sea stars. They're in the same family. They're prickly, spiky, and a beautiful purple color. All right, Keep students. Here's another super cool animal that I wanted to show you. A lot of times kids think it's a plant because it kind of looks like a flower and it's green. This is actually an animal called a sea anemone. Like in Finding Nemo, they said anemonemones. This is a sea anemone, and one way that we know that it is an animal is that it will actually close up when it's eating. So I'm going to put my finger on it and let's watch it move. Those are the tentacles slowly dragging me into its opening. My skin's too thick, it can't hurt me, but if I was a little creature, it would paralyze me and consume me. Delicious. And now let's zoom in to one of these giant green sea anemones. So cool. So beautiful. You can see the water moving across it. This one's fully open because it's still in the water, waiting to catch its next meal. And two more strange animals exploring tide pools out here with me today. It's my kids, Johnny and Sophia. Hey, Johnny and Sophia, wave! Hey, keep students, another cool thing my son just found. This is the shell of a sea urchin. It's kind of hollowed out. Something might have eaten it or it might have been broken by the tides. All the purple spikes fell off and just this beautiful round shell remains. Hey, Johnny, can you bring it in close so we can see it up close? Oh, I can see some in the cracks. Yeah, so cool. Sea urchins are one of the favorite foods of sea otters. They use big rock hammers to crack them open and chomp out their insides. Okay. My son's going to point out a few more that we're finding in the cracks. There, 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 there. They're everywhere! There, there. All right, keep kids. Something super cool that I haven't seen in a long time, but because of the super low tide, I could get out really far. We have a black abalone right here. I think it's a black abalone. It's definitely an abalone. It has two barnacles on its shell. And this is an herbivore that slides along looking for different seaweeds and kelps to eat. We haven't seen them much because they are usually out pretty deep, but because the tide is so low today, we're able to get out to an area that I haven't been to in so long. Right out along the very edge of the water here. Look at this view, it's gorgeous. All right, friends. Well, here you have some of the animals out here at the tide pools. Which one's your favorite? Maybe you can 
look up online some more cool facts about your favorite animal out here at the tide pools and post on our Facebook page what you've learned. Have a great job doing some more studying about tide pools and I hope we get to see you here someday soon. Bye for now.